So when you're under stress, your adrenals fire, you're supposed to have high blood sugar, right? To keep you alive from the tiger or the theoretical tiger chasing you down. Now, if you have chronic sugar in your blood, that's really dangerous because the blood, the sugar can cause what's called glycation damage, which is another Scrabble word for caramelizing your blood vessels, which leads to bad things like your vessels cracking and leaking and internally bleeding which is why the body will plug up the holes with cholesterol to stop it from internally bleeding. Okay? So if you if your if your body had the choice between internally bleeding to death or throwing it into the fats, the sugar into the fat cells and make you obese, which would you pick for survival sake? Not cultural sake, survival sake. You'd pick the obesity. Or the other option is you throw the sugar into the muscle cells to be burned very quickly. The problem with burning sugar very quickly in the muscles is that A, you use up all your B vitamins, B, you create lots of lactic acid, which is that chemical that makes your muscles sore when you work out. But now imagine your muscles are sore all the time, everywhere, for a period of time. What do you call that? Fibromyalgia. If you use up all your B vitamins, that means you have no B vitamins left over to make serotonin from tryptophan, and we call that depression and you don't have enough B vitamins to convert serotonin to melatonin, therefore you can't sleep. Also, if you burn sugar very quickly, you only get 1 18th the amount of energy you should because you're using the fast burning pathway, not the slow efficient pathway. You operate on 1 18th the amount of energy, and if you operate very tired all the time, what do you call that? Chronic fatigue. So now do you understand why these women all had fibromyalgia, chronic fatigue, insomnia, depression, and other things all at the same time? Okay? So that's a 35 minute video on my website.